Hi everybody, uh, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another video. Um, it's 1.18 in the morning, and I'm feeling kind of restless, I can't sleep. So, I just want to talk about Cher right now, because I've been doing a lot of movie reviews and stuff like that, and I just want to talk about music, shifting gears for a little bit. So... I've been a huge Cher fan for <laughs> longer than I've been a Britney fan, if anyone can believe that. Um, so I have three, three women that I love when it comes to music, entertainment, that have the whole package and that I absolutely love. And that's Britney Cher and Madonna. In that order. Um, so, Cher... Let's let's talk about her for a second. First of all, I saw her on February 24th, 2018 and she was so incredible. Um it's, it was the first time that I got to see her live. It was an incredible experience. It was the best concert I've ever been to in my life up until now. She came out and she... Her vocal power literally overpowered the music. It was insane. I can't believe that she's in her 70s. It just doesn't make any sense. And she's... Um, very rare in the fact that... I think that she just gets better with age, and it's crazy, because she, now, not to, to be extremely critical or anything, but um, when she was in her younger years, I, I don't know, because I wasn't born in the era back then. But she just wasn't the powerhouse vocalist that she is now. Um, and I have no idea, I mean, like, how she does it. It's like pure magic. She is so incredibly amazing live. It's insane. I have, I would actually prefer to listen to her live over listening to her CD and CDs. And that's really very rare when it comes to artists or anybody really so my favorite album by her is closer to the truth um it has a lot of powerhouse vocals on it. it has a lot of variety and everything and it's absolutely an amazing cd so um it's very dancey it's very um in your face. It's amazing. I love it. And I'm glad that it was successful. I'm glad that she got to go on the tour because it was absolutely amazing. <clears throat> and I listened to it absolutely nonstop. It's really um, insane. But yeah. So my f my favorite album, actually the first album that I ever owned from Cher, was actually um, Heart of Stone. My great grandma Rathbun, before she passed away, um, it was a Christmas a long time ago. I can't even remember what year it was. Um, but I was a Cher fan, but I just didn't own any of her music up until then, and my and. My great grandmother knew that, and she bought it for me for Christmas one year, and um, it was incredible. So that's a very special um, moment that I'll always have. My favorite share movie. Oh God, there's so many. I really, really, really. I think that my favorite Cher movie is probably Witches of Eastwick. I really love that movie. It's very entertaining, very sassy, very, you know, 
everything's all in it. It's just a very fun movie, and I I think that everybody would be great. I mean, come on, you had Jack Nicholson, you had Cher, you had Michelle Pfeiffer, and you had Susan Sarandon, and John Williams composed the music for it, so dream team, very much so. Um, I really love Mask, crying Mask every time. I really love Suspect when she's the lawyer and she's um, representing Liam Neeson. I really love that because he's, I think, a mute? Yeah, he doesn't talk, so she has to do a lot of, um, a lot of research and digging and she, at first she doesn't, you know, she's not confident in her case and she doesn't really care about it and then she 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 ends up fighting for her life over it and it's absolutely amazing so let's see burlesque was another good one even though it's hailed as a christian Aguilar movie i enjoyed share more i love you christina but um Shares my lady. Um, Stuck on You was hilarious. <laughs> I really love that movie. There's so many movies. There's so many movies. Um, and I'm glad that she's played in so many. She should play in so many more. I still need to see Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Because um, from every single person that I've came in contact with, that I've talked about the movie, about Cher is the highlight of the movie. So I'm really excited. I only got to see little snippets um, where she's singing Fernando and everything, which is pretty awesome. Um, which, by the way, I do own her ABBA CD that she came out with. That was pretty good. Pretty excellent. Um... And I heard that she was recording another ABBA CD because the first one was so successful. That's great. Um, oh, Lord. I don't even know what. My favorite Cher song. Oh, boy. I really, 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 really love and listen to all the time. I mean, I listen to all of her music. She, so first, I'll I'll talk about my my very top songs, and then I'll get into what I was just gonna say. Um, probably all or nothing. Um, I hope you find it. Uh. lie to me it's really depressing but i hope you find it all or nothing strong enough um, I, I can go on and on i better stop with those three because i can go on and on oh i want i want to talk about um i hope you find it so I did not know until later on that it was a Miley Cyrus song first. So when I watched, well, when I listened to the song, I got really emotional. It gets to me every time because from Cher's perspective, before I even knew it was a Miley Cyrus song, from Cher's perspective, she owns that song and she sings it with such conviction and such passion you can hear her personal experiences in that song you can hear the life of this woman who is singing this song and the way that she sings it is absolutely incredible and it always gets you emotional and everything well me anyway um and i i think it's one of the the best songs ever recorded by Cher. So I heard Miley Cyrus's version sometime afterwards, 
And I, I don't even relate the song to Miley Cyrus. But since I know that it existed, I had to listen to it. And I don't care for her version. No offense, Miley Cyrus. Um, from her perspective, she sings it just to sing it. And it's very commercially and very, um, you know made for the movie that she was in and all that good stuff, which is fine. And, you know, she did her own thing with it, but um, it did not have the years of experience. It did not have the life of it that Cher gave, that Cher sang into it. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, let's see. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So, Cher is one of those very, very rare occasions where, because I love dance music. I actually, I don't listen to a lot of ballads. I mean, it all depends on the artist and the song when it comes to ballads. <clears throat> I prefer much up-tempo songs. Um... That being said, Cher is probably the only artist where I love her ballads just as much as any dance song. I love her ballads just as much as I love her dance numbers. Numbers, sorry. Um, and she is that incredible. And um, yeah. I really am so in awe of Cher and her, um, you know, vocals and her her experiences and um, everything. She's a really special artist, and I really love her her music music she has an excellent catalog uh, a lot of songs <sighs> really hate to admit this um, but I actually didn't know that a lot of her songs that I really do love are actually remakes like she covered and no offense against the originals but when I heard the originals, no, they're share songs. Just like, um, I hope you find it, it's a share song. Miley Cyrus sang it once upon a time, but Cher owns it. Cher, it, it is sang with the experience and passion that it should, and it, she just gives it life. It's not, um, me mechanically based, I should say. Like, um, sing just to sing to to make you money. It has good lyrics and or great lyrics actually, and it's catchy, very commercially. No, Cher made it, made all of the songs that she has done her own, and she does her own version, and it's better. I have not heard a cover by Cher that is not better than the original. I haven't. It's crazy. She even does her own songs better than her. Her own songs. Like the original Bang Bang. Listen to the original Bang Bang. And then watch a clip of her on her farewell tour doing Bang Bang. That's enough said. I think that you can check it out and know the difference. There's an extreme difference. <clears throat> it's like night and day. Two separate things. <coughs> um. Anyway. So, yeah. Shares amazing music, movies... Uh, we even agree a lot on the same politics. I really love that she, 
Uh, I don't want to say this because it's kind of rude, but it's Cher. Like, she's, she's too old to give a F, okay? She does what she wants, end of story, it's Cher. So, if she wants to say something, you're going to have to deal. So, politically or otherwise. And I really love that about her. I really love her little rants and um, everything. Her her little emojis and everything. I'm an emoji fanatic too. Don't worry, Cher. Um, and I love it. So... Yeah. And I follow her on Twitter. I love it. <laughs> Get all the emojis in there. But anyway. So I'm I I really hope that I get to see her again in concert because um I took my French Lynn, I took my mom, and it was it was really great. We got balcony seats. So, <clears throat> and the fans were really crazy and everything, and I took videos, um, but I really wanted to experience it, so I only took a, a couple of videos. Of course, I had to do All or Nothing because I really love that, um, and then, <sighs> excuse me, sorry, and, um, Turn back time fan favorites like that. Uh, I really love the techno y kind of believe uh, performance that she puts on with the with the laser lights and you know the dancers doing that and then the dubstep stuff or whatever is going on. It's really awesome before Believe starts, so I hope that she keeps that in her shows. I, I really love the Femme Fatale tour. Or, not the Femme Fatale tour. Oh my god. Different artist. Um, I really love her Farewell tour. Believe performance as well. When they bring her down from the chandelier and everything. With the, her red wig and uh, her little heart thing. And her costume and everything. It was pretty awesome. So, And then, of course, all the lights and the silky drapes and all the dancers flipping up in the air and everything is absolutely by the way so that's another thing to talk about her farewell tour so me and my friend Flynn have always talked about you know it must have been nice to see that concert because Cher was so literally perfect it was a perfect show um I have never seen a concert. I mean, it was just, it was such a great, amazing concert. And we always talked about how, um, you know, we wish that we were, you know, could have went to that show and everything, but this was before we went to our concert. <clears throat> So, when we went to our concert, she kept almost the same set list with the same performances, just different costumes, and she updated the show to include her new songs. So, we were very ecstatic about that because it was an updated uh, farewell tour, and that was absolutely amazing. And it's a night that I'll never forget anyway. So, hopefully I get to see her again. But we'll see about that. Uh, I see that she is still doing a residency. And I think that she's going out on her, or continuing her Here We Go Again tour. So, hopefully, maybe someday soon, I'll get to go again. So we'll see about that though. Money, money, money. Um, but some things to look forward 
to look forward to and some some thoughts that I had and um, how I feel about things so anyway I've been rambling and rambling oh and that's another thing she doesn't personally care about the Jesse James song I love it so there's that <laughs> and actually I, I love it with each every time they listen to it I think I love it a little bit more so uh, check that out anyway I'm gonna get off here and I don't know probably make another review video before bed I don't know I haven't decided yet it's 1 38 in the morning right now though but anyway if you like my reviews and everything just make sure you um, subscribe to my page comment below and like so until next time guys have a great night